Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss the concept of projection techniques. Projection techniques are method used in finance, risk management, business decision. For what purpose? To understand the effect of changing variables on a given outcome. What does that mean? It means if something changed, how would that change affect the results, affect the outcome? What if I change my selling price? What if my variable cost went up? What if my variable cost went down? What if I increase my fixed cost? What if I decrease my fixed cost? What is the effect on the, what's the effect on my bottom line? There are usually two techniques you can use when you have projection techniques. One is called sensitivity analysis, also known as what if analysis. And the other technique is called scenario analysis. Both techniques are used to make informed decision by predicting, by determining the potential impact. What would happen if various business factors evolve, changes? What is the effect on the financial performance? And both of them are closely related, sensitivity analysis and scenario analysis, but they differ in the scope and complexity. Scenario analysis is broader, and you're going to see why, and more inclusive of multiple changing factors all at once. Let's take a look at both techniques using an example. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles. My accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses, broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. What if? What if analysis, simply put as what if. Sensitivity analysis involved the changing of one key financial variable or an assumption at a time to see how it impacts a particular outcome. For example, a company might adjust project projected growth rate of sales for example let's assume sales goes up 10 percent well let's change it to 15 let's change it to 25 let's reduce it to 7. what's the effect on the revenue it helps identify which variable are the most sensitive and have significant impact of the outcome this way we can see if we change one factor what is the impact what's the significant impact on the outcome Again, as we mentioned, this is this type of strategy is often used in assessing risk, understand the importance of individual variables, and prepare for different outcome based on the decision. And it's also helpful for financial modeling, budgeting, strategic planning. For example, an insurance company would say, a car insurance company, what happened if car accident overall goes up by 3% or 4%? What would happen to our payout? Or if you are preparing a budget, Let's change the selling price. Let's change the volume. What would happen to our bottom line? Let's look at a simple example. Let's assume a company sells product for $100 per unit. The fixed cost is $50,000. The variable cost is forty. dollars The company currently sells 2,000 units. The company wants to understand the sensitivity of its profit to the selling price of the product. Well, what does that mean? It means what happened if we change the selling price? What would happen to the profit? Well, right now, the selling price times the quantity will give us sales of 200,000. Variable cost is the variable cost per unit times how many units we are selling, which is $40 times 2,000 unit, 80,000. Then we have the total fixed cost, which is fixed cost plus variable cost, which is 50,000 of fixed cost, which is giving 80,000 of variable cost. We computed 130. The profit is revenue minus total cost equal to 70000 Now, another way to do this is the selling price minus variable cost give us the contribution margin minus the fixed cost give us net income or operating income. This is the variable income statement, basically the same thing, 70000 Now, let's conduct what-if analysis. What-if analysis, what if selling price drops by 10% to $90? What would happen? Let's assume we have to lower our price because we have a stiff competition or demand goes down or the economy slows down. Therefore, we have to reduce our price. Now, sales is 180. Variable cost but with, this, with the new price is 180 is revenue. Total cost still 130. It does not change. Then the profit is 50,000. 
So notice what happened, went from 90,000 to 50,000. So the sensitivity to the selling price is a decrease of 20,000 when the selling price is reduced by $10, which is a 10% decrease in the original price. So this way we know what's the effect to the bottom line. What's the effect to the bottom line? Again, this is a simple illustration just to kind of explain what if analysis. Now in the real world, you can conduct various what if analysis in an Excel sheet software, and we would learn about different scenarios when we learn about cost, volume, profit analysis, CVP, about different scenarios. This is just to illustrate what if analysis, that's all. Scenario analysis, on the other hand, is more comprehensive. It, it's more comprehensive. Instead of changing one variable at a time, it considered the effect of various different combination of variables to simulate different scenarios. Now, what does that mean? For example, we can say, what's the best case scenario that, might, that, that, that could happen? You know, consider the effect of high sales growth, low interest rates, stable law material cost, all at once. This is the best case scenario. My sales goes up, interest rate goes down, my interest expense cost goes down, the raw material doesn't go up in price. Well, what would happen? Best case scenario. This allows the company to prepare a range of possible future plans to strategically position themselves to respond accordingly. Now, we can do the best case and we can do the worst case in something in between. This is often used to create long-term plans that are resilient to different market condition and external factors because when you plan, you cannot also always plan for the best case or the worst case. You have to do several scenarios to know what's the best case, what's the worst case, and what would happen and adjust throughout the way. Keep your eye on the market, keep your eye on your performance. Let's look at an example or let's extend the example that we had earlier. Assuming the same company is planning for next year and want to understand how different market condition would affect its profit. They have three scenarios, optimistic scenario, realistic scenario, and a pessimistic scenario. In an optimistic scenario, the de increased demand, lower variable cost due to economy of scale, and we will sell more units at a higher price. So best case scenario is instead of selling price uh, the selling price $100 per unit the selling price is 110 instead of selling 2000 we're going to sell 2500 and we're going to have a lower variable cost then we have a realistic scenario where we'll stay at 2000 unit the price will increase to 105 due to inflation and we have a pessimistic scenario where the market overall goes down reduce the quantity sold from 2000 to 1500 and we have to reduce our price to 95 well, we could now compute the profit under all three scenarios. Under the optimistic scenario, the revenue will be 275,000. Variable cost will drop to 35 times 2,500 unit is 87,500 because under the good scenario, our variable cost goes down. Our revenue will be 137,500. Fixed cost is still the same, 50,000. So this is one scenario. Realistic scenario, the revenue is 210. Total variable cost, variable cost will stay the same, 80,000. So revenue minus fixed minus variable, our profit is 80,000. In a pessimistic scenario, where our revenue is 142,500, our variable cost will stay the same at $40 per unit times 1,500 unit is 60,000. And we have a fixed cost to cover of 50,000. Our profit is 32,500. What we did here, we said, okay, this is the best realistic and pessimistic scenario. Let's start operation, monitor what's happening in order to adjust accordingly. Maybe if we are facing a, an even a worse pessimistic scenario, can we do something about the fixed cost? In all these three scenarios, we did not, the company did not change fixed cost. Maybe that's something they want to look into um, as part of their planning. But again, this is the scenario analysis where you are not only changing one factor, you are changing multiple factor under different scenarios. Sometimes they have a probability, you know, for example, uh, probability of an optimistic scenario is 20% versus realistic 60 and pessimistic 20. The, the probability has to add up to 100%. Let's take a look at this multiple choice question from Farhat Lectures. What outcome does scenario analysis help a business prepare for? So when you are conducting a scenario analysis, what are you trying to do? Is it to maximize the company's current profit? Well, any anything is to maximize the company's current profit, but scenario analysis is not for that. Definitely not to uh, maximize. If you want to maximize the company's profit, lower cost, increase revenue. That, that's how you will maximize the profit. But the scenario analysis is not for that. 
to focus solely on reducing the variable cost. Well, that could be part of this part of the factor of the scenario analysis. What if our variable cost goes down? And this is really a good scenario, but that's not really the, in, the purpose for scenario analysis. That's not it. To understand the financial impact of different market conditions, is that a scenario analysis? Yes, I would have to say C is the best so far. To basically determine what would happen under a good market condition, not so good and bad market condition. Those Under those three scenarios, what would happen? What's the impact? What's the financial impact? Yes, scenario analysis determine this. Let's make sure D is not the right answer to calculate the exact change in interest rate. Not at all. First of all, <laughs> interest rate computation is based on your loan. You cannot compute your interest rate. And scenario analysis has nothing to do with computing your interest rate, the change in interest rate. The change in interest rate is determined also by market condition of Federal Reserve, uh, supply and demand for loans. You have nothing to do with this. You cannot calculate the exact change in interest rate. You can factor an interest rate change within your scenario, but that's only a small part. The scenario analysis is to determine the financial impact of different market condition. What should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures and look at additional resources, multiple choice. Lectures, invest in yourself, whether you are a CPA candidate or an accounting student or CMA candidate or any other professional certification. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.